ship video and it just bloody stalled. I can't believe it. <sighs> Great. <laughs> She's in Venice. She's in the tumble dryer in while Mum's trying to fold clothes. What you doing, missus? I don't want to show everybody now. No, I'm not sure what she says. Yeah. That's the second time she's done it now. I see you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Always want to be in on the action, don't you, Star? Yeah. <laughs> so funny cat getting in the freaking tumble dryer. Mm -hmm. She hasn't got anywhere near the washing machine, has she? Washing machine, no, but it's never open. Mm, that's true. So I've just heard the news and basically the government, the English government, have uh, right and royally screwed all students up and down the country uh, because they've gotten rid of EMA. Now if you're English you should know what EMA is, if you're not then it's basically uh, for poor families who cannot afford really to go to college um, or you know at sixth form that type of thing, they pay the the students, you know, anywhere from ten pounds to thirty pounds a week. Um, basically, if you attend for an entire week, all lessons, and basically you get your EMA form signed, uh, and you basically send it in, and you get your money, and that money will go towards books, transportation, and all this type of thing. Well, our government has just taken this away from us, which basically is going to screw up a lot of a lot of kids who cannot afford who come from crappy homes whose parents don't see the point in in going to you know college because they worked at McDonald's for all their life and they they had an okay living you know we are ridiculously destroying our generation uh generation's education because we recently cut back our uh, they took away transportation uh, cheaper transportation for us so that we can even get into college. They've now taken away EMA which pays for that transportation and books and other things and uh, they also cut back uh, funding for colleges and schools. Um, so basically our government is making us dumber and that's that's their fault really. And the fact that they th they feel that they can actually defend what they're doing right now, you know, we may be in we may be in um, a recession, but frankly, I'm pretty damn sure that less money should be spent on car advertisements and more on education for children. It's it's ridiculous. It, it is actually ridiculous, and it pisses me off. As much as I didn't want Gordon Brown to be back in Parliament, God's sake, I really don't like the Coalition because they are right and royally screwing us over. Um, I guess that's the Conservatives for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically the rich are allowed education, but the poor people can stay poor. So uh, bring back the working houses, guys, because that's what we're going to need. Hello. It's a little love heart that says hello. And I'm giving it to you. 
I hope you enjoy your love heart. <laughs> so it's Monday. I'm going to upload the video in a little while and I thought I would give you an excuse for why, um, <laughs> give you an excuse for, basically I'm going to give you an excuse for why I haven't done a lot of footage this week. I've not been very well. I spent a lot of time in bed. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of footage. And, uh, hopefully there'll be more next week. One thing I worry about with these vlogs is that because there's a quite a lot of stuff that I don't put in it, put into it, like the bad things that are happening in my life, I don't really want to put it in the vlog because I don't think a lot of people will want to see that. But I don't know, maybe you do. But I mean, a lot of it, a lot of the bad things that are going on at the moment are connected with other things that I'm not allowed to talk about until you know it's it's over and done with and then I'll be able to talk about it that type of stuff um and then I'll pro I probably will if I feel like it or not um but uh I mean I worry about that because I feel like I'm editing my life to you guys and not being so open when I should be but I think if you can just bear with me for that time um, I mean I am ill I suffer from ME uh, and I spend a lot of time in bed <laughs> but um, I try my best with the videos and I hope you appreciate them um, and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do enjoy making them and I think if you don't enjoy them then I enjoy making them so it doesn't matter <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully eventually things will blow over and our lives should resort to some normalcy, normalcy? <laughs> to a normal thing. Kitty! <laughs> uh, and when it does, I'll be able to tell you more that's going on. But, uh, it's just me and my mum. And I'm in my pyjamas. Pyjamas! With butterflies, cutie, with love hearts, <laughs> Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> so yes, uh, I think I shall go. Sajin. Bye bye in Chinese. Hello and welcome to Sneeze Chef episode two, and uh, we've got our first Sneeze Chef challenge from a. Uh, user called